everybody. So this is the resource girl and this is part two of my nightly walk. Uh, right now I'd like to say that the sky is kind of ridiculously blue. Um, it's so beautiful. And before my hands were pretty cold and I uh, couldn't find my little mittens. So I had to take a break and I went into Target and I needed to pick up some meat. So I, I follow someone called Fully Raw Christina and it's all about eating vegan and raw. So everything the way God made it. And if you go to her page, Fully Raw Christina, she lives in Hawaii. There are some of the most beautiful fruit that I've ever seen, basically I've never seen, in my entire life. So Fully Raw Christina. So why am I bringing this up? Because I would really love to do 80% raw vegan. I, I wouldn't be considered a vegan but meaning 80% the way that the food was made by God. And then I would like to do 20% whatever. Now, this has been a goal for quite a long time because back in 2014, in November, I went to the Living Foods Institute in Atlanta, Georgia. And while I was there for 10 days, I lived the fully raw life. And that meant that I ate seeds and nuts, I had lettuce and broccoli and sprouts and wheatgrass juice. And for 10 days, I had nothing but live food. And People go to the people go to the Living Foods Institute for many different reasons, and I'll just leave it at that. Everyone's going there for whatever their reasons are. Usually, though, they have a chronic illness, and so. I went there for my own reasons, which, you know, they are what they are. And um, after 10 days, what I can tell you after eating fully raw, I was glowing like a light bulb and it was really fantastic. So this past week, I went to a great little supermarket called Styles, 37th and 9th. And everything is really, really inexpensive there, all of the vegetables. The only thing that's costly, as it is costly worldwide, would be the nuts. So nuts and coffee. Um, the nuts are like $7.99 a pound, I think, or no, a half pound. I don't know what the point is. is nuts are very, very, very expensive. Um, but other than that, all the celery and the broccoli and the Brussels sprouts and all the other produce and the fruit, very, very inexpensive. But in my little trip to, to Target, um, what I can tell you is that I did find some fresh ground beef and I have not become 80% uh, raw. Um, this is a goal of mine, right? Because I've seen the health benefits um, and the Living Foods Institute in Atlanta, Georgia, you know, I've actually been there. So oftentimes, you know, the beauty of education is we can read a book about Thailand, but we've never been to Thailand, right? And then if we do go, or we finally get a chance to go, the realizations when we're there are, you know, richer and deeper when we've actually had the opportunity to experience uh, that place. So I can tell you that if you have the opportunity to go to a place like the Living Foods Institute in Atlanta, Georgia, or Hippocrates in Florida, or in Puerto Rico, um, Ann Weg, I think it's Ann Wegmeyer or Ann Wegmore. Um, she's the proponent of the raw food diet. And um, 
so when you actually go to these places, of course, you know, there's a richness that you can't describe just by reading a book. But not all of us can get on a plane for one reason or another and go everywhere. So they do have a cookbook and they also have the opportunity to do consulting on the phone. So if you have a concern, a health issue, then you can call the Living Foods Institute in Atlanta, Georgia, and you can talk with them about doing a consulting program if you or any of your family members are suffering from any kind of health conditions. Now, I love New York because I just, you know, I often wonder like, what's happening up there? What's happening up there with the red lights on? And then look over here. Now, last, last March, until probably October, November, this was happening every day, all day long. Uh, people just throwing their stuff out. And I know I've mentioned it in other videos. And that's the thing, if you become a fan of me, then you'll hear that I'll repeat some things because honestly, some of the um, topics are worth mentioning more than once. Uh, and, and who knows, you know, if you're going to show up again. I hope you do. I hope you like. I hope you subscribe. I hope you share it on your Facebook page. I hope you tell your grandma. I hope you tell everybody. Um, so, this is one of my favorite places in New York. It's called the Little Pie Company. And, uh... I'm not going to say it's good for you, but oh my god, it's so delicious. Yeah, the little pie company, um, the most beautiful, delicious little pies. And I was working a job um, a year and a half ago and uh, the owner, the owner of the little pie company was there and he was next to me where I was working and he won a prize that night for his little pies and they're absolutely so phenomenal that you really wish that he would franchise it um, but he told me that one little pie company in New York is enough to keep him busy so if you ever get to New York or I'm sure they they send them all over the United States you could have a little pie company um, pies sent for your next birthday party or a wedding they're really really worth it now on my right is one of the Manhattan plazas it's really hard to see due to all the scaffolding but all of these buildings here in this neighborhood are for um, for actor dancers singers writers producers they're actually a place where it's like a lottery and then once you are approved you move in and you pay according to um, you pay according to what you can afford and every year then you are re-evaluated according to your income during that time and then it could go up or down depending on what you are are making and yes I know people who've lived there and they've been very happy oh how beautiful wow, that's oh my gosh Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Um, so, I, I grew up riding horses uh, since I was seven years old. And um, so... Baby. George, say hi! Say hi, say hi. hello, say hello! Hi everybody! Hold hi. on, I'm going to take a pause now. Oh 